Well, Bitcoin is almost breaking through the all time high of Bitcoin right now. And it literally, look at this, it literally missed it by like $200, guys. That's 73,664. And up here is 74,200. So, quarter $400 it missed it by. <laughs> Okay, between $200 and $400, it missed the all time high from what on earth? And we are literally just getting pumping up here right now in the in the Mac, uh, the MACD, and that's pushing up nicely. Momentum and movement is coming in, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're about to look at in the correlation of the movement upwards, the price action, and the bounce off of. Uh, these levels here, a strong support in the zone and a breakthrough of the all time highs. If you want to know more about that, it's going to be a very short video. Make sure to stay tuned right to the very end and hit that notification bell so that you know when I do cool videos like this. I haven't done a couple of video for you in a couple of days uh, since this one, but my friends, there is lots of news to hit in this video right here today. So stay tuned because I'm going to fly through it. Okay. So considering that we did try and break out of the all-time high here you can see literally how close we were if we had to put this point here and literally take it to the top there my friends in fact i don't even want to do that i'm going to draw a horizontal line right here for you so that you can see right there's the high look at that we literally missed it it depends on, i guess it depends on what chart you're on but that's like a yeah, this is a $50 move. We we missed breaking the all-time high by $50, my friend. Do you think that was done on purpose? Well, yeah, possibly, my friend. That could have kept the price down. But anyways, when you take a look and you zoom out of the noise that is currently happening, you can see currently that the weekly candle is rather extraordinarily bullish and normally when we get the weekly stochastic pulling up to the top side and it gets very bullish we get pumps of momentum to the upside so i believe we're in for a very good ride now let's go and have a look at some of the news here starting off with blackrock ceo larry fink says that the fed will cut interest rates at least another 25 basis points this year well we've only got two months left of this year my friend and if we're going to have a look at it, this chart here, we are about to have our last day on the monthly candle called October, right? And while we look at that candle so far, we are currently in 22% uh, up for the month so far. So October is pretty darn good, right? And that volume of the month is looking rather like a momentum push and a momentum swing and the macd is literally telling us the same story so i uh, sorry the stochastic is telling us the same story so the, the simple rule is get in early make some money get out now there's a few things that i wanted to share with you on this page here because that's what the candle is going to look like okay when we go up if you watched my video my last live session on monday that was my last video for you if you watch that i will leave that link up in the cards bar for you you will absolutely freak out because what i showed you looks like that very much so so uh, first things first let's go and have a look at the rest of this so here you go as you can see here breaking the florida state's cfo endorses the strategic bitcoin reserve and pushes pension funds for firefighters teachers and police officers to buy bitcoin bitcoin is often called digital gold and it could help diversify the state portfolio and provide a secure hedge against the volatility of major uh, major asset classes I wonder what those major asset classes might be well, this thing that we call the dollar could be that component, right? But my friends, I don't know what this woman is thinking. She's, I've known, not an owner personally, but honestly, she kind of sits in the George Soros category for me, honestly. Um, but just in uh, the US dollar, fraud in the banking system is becoming a huge problem, says Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. You don't say no shit. Okay, this is all just smoke and mirrors, my friend. Absolute smoke and mirrors. And if you have a look at the Bitcoin ETFs, this is the exact reason why. The ETFs have bought $5.1 billion in just three weeks. Okay, you can see here that we are literally 
absolutely skyrocketing in volume here right now. Here's more proof. Bitcoin's ETFs, and this this is from today, by the way. So Bitcoin's ETFs had $827 million in inflow yesterday, which is the third biggest day ever. Well, how do we know that? Well, here you go. Just in the US dollar does not need to collapse for Bitcoin to hit $200,000, uh, says the Bitwise CEO. I agree with him. And the reason I agree with him is because all the dollar has to do is just print more money. That's all it's doing. It has to have this race against all the other currencies to print as much as possible. And here's what Eric Balchunas, I'm sorry, Here's what uh, somebody says here in the comments. Totally would be the best if currency remains stable and Bitcoin pricing to make the increases. Which, yes, I do agree with. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. And the markets are just absolutely ready for a bull cycle. And here's the data that will show you exactly why. Now, as you can see here, this is the Bitcoin ETF overview. I bet, of course, the biggest the assets under management so far uh, the market cap is about uh, 30 billion and as you can see here right now they had 1.2 billion dollars in volume okay i want that they had 1.2 billion dollars in volume that's fucking mad my friend okay so as you can see here the more we pull down i bet and BlackRock are the biggest holders out of all of these ETFs with Bitcoin. They have 417,000 Bitcoin alone. They are miles ahead of FTC and GBTC who keep dumping. Now you can see here that as uh, the third biggest day is of inflows was literally uh, here yesterday. And that's precisely why this price jumped up as it did on the shorter daily time frame. Now, remember, the shorter daily time frames are amazing, but really what you're looking for is the long term. Look at the long term effect of the accumulation that is busy going on here. It is far greater than any of the dumping that is busy happening here. And that's why I would be very cautious to be selling Bitcoin currently at this point when you are just getting ready to break through the all-time highs. Honestly, that would be very sick if you did sell Bitcoin right now. And again, I show you, look at the spot ETF flows that are coming in. Again, the volume is starting to pick up, my friends. And this is what you need to know, is that the countdown from Eric, this is from Eric Balchuna, so a very credible source in the crypto space, but these are the largest Bitcoin uh, holders in the world, Satoshi Nakamoto being 1.1 million, Binance at 667,000, BlackRock is now at 417,000 if you just saw what it is that I just shared with you there, meaning that since this was posted earlier on today, they literally went and accumulated another 9,000 Bitcoin today, my friend. I don't know if you know how significant that is, but honestly, this thing is about to fucking pump through the roof. So if you have not well positioned yourself, the US ETFs combined have a total of nearly 1 million Bitcoins. Check it, Grayscale, MicroStrategy, US government, Chinese government, but but Fertility, Kraken. These guys have nearly 1 million in their holdings, in their possession. Now, the, the interesting thing here is, is that they've been adding about 17,000 Bitcoin a week. That said, anything can happen, e.g. a violent sell-off, and all this is delayed, albeit it's still inevitable. On flip, if prices keep going up, Trump wins, we could see FOMO could kick in, and it all happens faster. So stay tuned. I 100% concur and agree with that. I love this post. I'm going to share it, so I'll just quickly share that while I'm here. But the most important thing is, while zooming out is that every single time we're in these blue green zones here which are fire sale to basically hodl okay we're in the still cheap phase of bitcoin right now we haven't even yet got off to the serious phase in other words we're kind of halfway through the bull cycle already which is 100 percent correct and if you watched my live video that i put here for you guys honestly 
this was one of the best live sessions I have ever done. So if you missed it, I'll leave it pinned in the card. You must go see that video. It's absolutely incredible. But my friends, for now, I think that's it. Make sure you hit my Bible link down below. That will give you up to $30,000 to puzzle bonus. Thanks for being here with me today. I appreciate you all. And the last thing that I want to leave you with is that it looks as though Trump is on the way to the top and for possibly taking his candidacy, but we still have about five days left until um, the actual elections go down. So we will have to wait and see a couple days, weeks, months after that until we get the actual results. Who knows? They could be rigged. They could do all kinds of things. I don't know. But honestly, if this stays like this, Trump is won. If anything else happens, then I can tell you right now, you would know for yourself that that is truly manipulation so i hope you've been watching the joe rogan podcast and the joe rogan information interview that he had with trump it was nearly three hours kamala's been demanding that and of course joe rogan said hell no china you actually need to come onto my show and follow my rules okay so good luck to her well the world would be doing Joe Rogan would be doing the world and America a favor. So I hope you enjoyed this video tonight. Thanks for being here with me on the CryptoBurst channel. Truly appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one. Blessed souls. Take care and have a lovely evening.